Hey guys, it's Kenny with Ugly Tent. I'm out today to do uh, an overnighter and try out some gear. This is the Hill People, uh, one of the Hill People gear that I got from Five Call Survival to try out to test. Uh, unfortunately, I don't get to keep it. I just get to try it out and send it on to Skills to Survive and the Prepared Wanderer. Uh, some other, some friends that you've seen from other videos that I've collaborated with. This is another one of our uh, collaborations sponsored by Five Call Survival. I'm really impressed with this Hill People gear um, <clears throat> and I'll have to look up, I can't remember the name, the exact name of this of this pouch, but daggone it is, it is huge and I have got it stuffed full of stuff and I've still got room. It's got a uh, zipper in the front, the main compartment zipper and then it's got another zipper on the very back which I'm assuming is for concealed carry. So it is it's perfect for it. It's even got the Velcro inside of it. So we're loaded up. You could probably even use this for a go-to bag or a bug-out bag. You could... The way this is set up is you had this and maybe another butt pack or something like that. Um, you could do a lot with it. I'm really impressed with it. It's got these other attachments. You can just attach it to a backpack or another pack or you can attach it to your um, straps on your on your backpack. I didn't go to that extent. I probably would if this was mine to keep. I probably would. But I'll show you how it actually fits on. Okay, so as you can see, this is how it straps on. And it comes off pretty easy. There you go. And it's got the uh, and it's got molly webbing on the bottom here to put other things through. Or you could even attach a poncho for a shelter or your tarp, whatever. I'm telling you, this is this is really nice. I'm gonna have to look into getting one of these because uh, you can carry a lot of gear. And with what I do, trying out gear and all the camera equipment I carry and all the stuff I don't need to carry but helps out with shooting the YouTube videos, um, I need this extra space. I've given you a good look at the Hill People gear um, and I give that a thumbs up for sure. That's some high quality gear. So I'm doing this gear review in reverse of what I normally do. I've already had it out in the field and uh, tried it out. This is the Hill People Gear kit bag version 2. And this is a fantastic pack. So it has a lot of PALS loops uh, and PALS webbing. It also has a lot of uh, quick attachments quick buckle attachments. It is a 500D material. This is not the wax canvas. This is the version 2 which is the 500D. And it has the large number 10 zippers on the main compartment. There are so many features and benefits to this thing. But let me give you the overhead view and uh, show you how this thing works. So first, first thing I want to point out is the mesh back. This is actually what is on your back side when you wear this in the front. Uh, it's very breathable. I had no problems uh, with this. It's very comfortable. And you got your wide webbing. You got your inch and a half webbing with the wide quick release buckles. Got your elastic holds on all the all the uh, webbing there, so you can wrap it up and make it more secure. And this is the front compartment. As you can see, it is very very spacious. It's got some more attachment points, and it has additional pockets on the inside. This is the main compartment with the uh, 10, number 10 zippers. And what a nice surprise. Look at this. You got your PALS or your Molly laser cut panel on the inside. And again, this is, this is limitless what you can do with that. You can use the quick attachment. Fast attachment.
or you can use the tactical clips. So there's an unlimited number of options on that. More pockets, more uh, straps to secure things, more loops. And here is your concealed carry compartment, which is exactly, it's got a storm flap. Nice storm flap right there with your zippers. And this opens up to reveal your concealed carry compartment. There is Velcro on the back side, and it's very well padded too. So to give you an idea, this is a 380. Here is a 9mm. You got some really nice attachment points here. You got more buckles. You can hang this to other gear or attach it to a pack. Again, there's so many things that you can see that better that you can do with this there's the back side and it comes with these additional attachment loops attachment webbing this is the way it comes configured Now if you wanted to take all these off, take all this off and just attach it to these loops here in the back. You know, there's nothing to keep you from doing that. You can use this as a butt pack. If you wanted to put it on your uh, uh, waist belt, or if you wanted to put it on your load bearing equipment, or uh, anything along those lines. Hey guys, thanks for watching another episode of Ugly Tent and watching this gear review. So get on Five Call Survival Supply and check out, I'll put a link in the description too, but check out the Hill People gear they have there. This is the kit bag version 2, to be more specific, but you can read the specs on it and get the price points. But thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.